We have new information tonight about the police investigation into Mike Duffy. CBC News has learned the RCMP interviewed various Conservative MPs and asked for details of some of their appearances with the now suspended senator. Some of them are likely to be put on the stand by the prosecution as it tries to build its case that Duffy double-dipped or simply charged the Senate for work he did for the Conservative Party. The CBC's Rosemary Barton continues to dig into this story. Rosemary. Peter, CBC News has learned the RCMP have zeroed in on some of suspended Senator Mike Duffy's travel expenses, and the questions have gone to several current and former members of Parliament who hosted him. Terry, what would you like to ask the Prime Minister? Mike Duffy was a big draw for the Conservatives in 2009, so much so that he was brought in to help the Prime Minister explain and sell his critical economic action plan to bolster the economy during the recession. Is there a possibility that this is in fact too ambitious for us to handle at this time? But it's what he did in the days that followed that interested RCMP investigators. A day after helping the Prime Minister, Duffy hit multiple Conservative fundraisers. One in Belleville, Ontario, for MP Daryl Cramp. Duffy was a hot ticket. MPs wanted a visit from the celebrity senator who would bring in the cash. A week later, Duffy was the guest speaker at an event in Peterborough for MP Dean Del Mastro. Sources confirm Del Mastro has been subpoenaed by the RCMP and has now handed over information so investigators can confirm whom Duffy expensed for the trip. The next day, Duffy did a fundraiser for MP Barry DeVolin, who has also been subpoenaed. A source says during DeVolin's interview with the RCMP, they asked him who paid for Duffy's accommodations, who drove him where, what exactly did Duffy do? Sources say local supporters picked up Duffy and then later brought him to Toronto. They also say the riding association did not pay for anything and it was clearly a partisan event. Duffy then hit the road. Over the next 10 days or so, Duffy would make stops to do conservative fundraising in Prince George, British Columbia, Kelowna and Kamloops. CBC News has also learned the RCMP have spoken to former Conservative Cabinet Minister Gary Lunn. He was the MP for Saanich Gulf Islands, but he says Duffy never did any events with him. Senator Duffy, why Duffy you now? has always said he did nothing wrong. The 2012 version of Senate rules around travel say senators can participate in party activities that are related to the work of the senator or the Senate and its proceedings. This definition may have become a problem for Duffy somewhere along the line, as the RCMP alleged there were fraudulent claims for personal and partisan events. Peter. All right, Rosie, thank you. Rosemary Barton in Ottawa tonight.